are my sunglasses? I need those. These are mine. These are my sunglasses. Speaking of my and mine and possessives, that's what's coming up next, Lesson 15, Chinese with Mike. See you in a minute. How's it going? Once again, live from my garage, this is Chinese with Mike, lesson 15 now. So today is an important lesson. We are going to be discussing possessives. I know how to say I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Now I need to know how do I say my or mine, your or yours, his, hers, theirs, etc. So let's review the pronouns. Go. 我,我,你,你,他,他,我们,我们,你们,你们,他们,他们. Now how do I make those possessive? How do I, like in English, I have to take I and make it my, a completely different word. Well guess what, Chinese is easier. All I have to do is add a word called da. It's another particle. I just add D E. D. D. Neutral tone. So wa becomes wa da. Wa da. Which means my. Or it also can mean mine. In English, we differentiate between what are called uh, possessive adjectives like my book and possessive pronouns like that book is mine. Guess what? Chinese, it's all the same. Just like wa could be I or me, wa da can be my or mine. Awesome. So, wa da, ni da, ta da, wo man da, wo man da, ni man da, ni man da, ta man da. Ta-man-da. That's it. So, my and mine, wo-da. Your and yours, ni-da. His, her, hers, and its, without the apostrophe. Ta-da. Our or ours, wo-man-da. Wo-man-da. Yours, your guys's, right? Ni-man-da. Ni-man-da. Tamanda, their or theirs. That's T H E I R because it shows possession. Their or theirs. Tamanda. So now I have a little bit of new vocabulary here. So the first one, let's just read these first. Mama. Mama. Remember what that means from way back when? Mom. Mama. Mama. The first part is first tone, the second one is neutral. So Mama. Second one, ba ba. Fourth tone, then neutral. Ba ba. So we have mom, we have dad. Mama, ba ba. Mama, ba ba. And then here, this is a new one, means friend. Pa ung. Second tone, pung. And then yo. Yo, yo, so peng yo, peng yo, my friend. So, uh, next one, book. Shi wu, shu, shu. It's a book. I think we know the next one, so I'm going to let you take it. That's right. Lao shi, lao shi is teacher. And then, mao, ma, ao. Mao is cat, and 
No use having a cat without a dog, right? So we have go, oh, mouth big a little, oh, oh, go, oh, go, dog. So, by combining then one of my pronouns here with one of these nouns, I can make something possessive. How would I say my mom? What the mama? Sometimes you can omit the da based on the uh, based on the, the noun. I could just say wa mama to mean my mom, but by adding in the da, it's fine. So we're just gonna stick with using da. What the mama? What the papa? My dad. What the peng yo? My friend. What the peng yo? What the shu? My book. What the shu? My teacher, the lao shi, the lao shi. My cat, the mao, the mao. My dog, the go, the go. Okay, how about your something, your mom? Ni de mama, ni de papa, ni de peng yo, ni de shu. Nida lao shi, nida mao, and nida go. There you go. Not bad, right? Just adding duh. So if I turn it around, and I want to say that the, the book is mine instead of my book. Remember, my book would be wo de shu. How about this? Shu shi is, right? Book is shu shi wo de. The book is mine. Now we don't have articles. We don't have a, uh, an, or the. Just shu book is mine. Shu shi wo de. The book is mine. The cat is mine. Mao shi wo de. What if I want to say the, the book is his? Shu shi ta de. Or if I want to say his book, ta de shu. So let's go through and do a couple examples. Wo de mama, my mom. Ni de papa, your dad. Ta de peng yo, his or her friend. Ta de peng yo. Wo men de shu, our book. Wo men de shu, ni men de lao shi. Ni men de lao shi, you guys, your teacher. So I could say, since I'm your teacher, wo shi, I am ni man de, your guys, lao shi teacher. Wo shi, ni man de lao shi. So I deserve your respect. Ta man de, mao, their dog, or sorry, their cat. Ta man de, mao, or if I want to say the dog, the cat is theirs. Mao shi, ta man de. Mao shi, ta men de. The dog is theirs. Go shi, ta men de. Or their dog. Ta men de. Go, their dog. Now, last time we talked about adjectives. Always put hun very before an adjective. So let's you know. Let's go through an adjective we know. How about how? As in ni hao means good, right? What if I want to say? Um, my book is good. Wo de shu hun hao. My book is good. My book is very good. My uh, my friend is very tall or is tall. Wo de peng yo. My friend hun very gao tall. My friend is tall. Um, wo men de are. Let's say our dog is fat. Wo men de go, our dog, hun, very pan, pan, fat. Our dog is fat. So if uh, some of these adjectives are foreign to you, I'd recommend checking back with the last lessons where I uh, explain them. Look at the downloads because I have giant lists of great adjectives to use. Um, and basically it's a matter of substitution. You are taking uh, an adjective with a noun. We, I know our nouns that we know right now are few, 
but more are coming. And again, I'll have great noun lists in the book as well. Right here, I'm just kind of giving you the guidelines and then you can review it in the book. Check out the Facebook page, Chinese with Mike. Check out the website, ChineseWithMike.com. Um, email me if you want to, Mike at ChineseWithMike.com. I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to type in Pinyin. I'll type back. Keep it simple. Keep it rocking. I'll see you at Lesson 16 soon. Bye.